The world has been sundered. It cries out in pain. We must go to its aid. We entrust our ancestral home to you, the Watchers. Slumber, hidden, even from our own eyes. You will feel our return in the waking of the land. Then you must light the beacon of tear hold, lest the path home be lost to us forever. Azeroth's protectors once again. Here, the new age of dragons shall begin.
imprisoned Storm Eater. Soon, their bonds will be broken. Ah, and what is this? The brood of Melfarian. I felt his demise reverberate through the earth and revel. Perhaps you wish to share his fate. I had wished to become what he was meant to be. What he should have been. You do not fathom what Dragon Kind was meant to be. But you will. This world of the Titan stay. Let the storm be the harbinger of our return. I did not expect to see you again so soon, my friend. After you'd answered the call of the Isles. Something has happened, Khadkar. Something terrible. Kalikos. Tell me. It all happened so quickly. And Rathian, young as he is, bravely or perhaps foolishly tried to stop it. He was too late. The Tempest had already been unleashed. She let me live with a message. They are coming to cleanse the world of the Titan's Stain. Alexstrasza, who is she? What is she? She is Razageth, youngest of the primal incarnates. Incarnates? Four dangerous adherents of the elemental forces. At the dawn of the Aspects, our flights embraced the Titan's gifts. They did not. The war that followed was unimaginable. And it took all of our strength combined to banish them. If they were so dangerous, why were they not destroyed? I hadn't the heart to do it. We were once as clutchmates. Time, it seems, has not quelled their fury. And look at us. Should she free her kin now, we haven't the strength to stop them. And if Iridicrum's hunger is unleashed... Then we have no choice. If we are to be protectors once more, the aspects of our dragonflights must be made anew. Our queen is determined, Khadgar. But we've only just begun to find who we are again. And I fear that without help, we may never get the chance to see our future secured. Hmm. Then it seems the mortal races too must answer the call and face the storms ahead. Razagath, enough! We need not fight another war. There is still time to see reason. Time is precisely what you stole from me. 
thousands of years, rotting in that prison. I failed then to restore peace between us. Too many paid for that. Spare me your sanctimony. You forced the Titans' edict upon us all. You betrayed the world that gave us life. And when we dared resist, you cast us out. fighting on the wrong side. She never told you the suffering they inflicted upon us. The insult of being forgotten. I want her to watch helplessly as everything she built comes crumbling down. Only then will she meet the fitting end. Rathian, you have my gratitude. Your aid was unexpected, but appreciated. It was an honor to stand with you, my queen. I trust your flight will now assist us in claiming the Obsidian Citadel from the Jaredin. Of course we will, after we see to the safety of the eggs. Surely they are secure now that Razagath has been driven away. Oh, you do not know her as I do, young one. She is an unpredictable foe. For now, we must remain at the life pools and safeguard our future. Our future? Or yours? The Obsidian Citadel was built to defend all of the Dragon Isles. You cannot abandon the legacy of my flight to the hands of our enemies. I would have expected you to care more for the protection of helpless eggs, Rathian. Stay then. Tend to what matters most to your flight, and I will save what matters most to mine. Neltharion. And you are? Rathian, heir of Neltharion. And I've never heard of you. Likewise. We'll discuss this later. Ah, young Rathian. I owe your help was invaluable in securing my rightful place on the Obsidian Throne. Oh, uh... I believe you're mistaken. This throne, this legacy, is my birthright. 
Ah, no. The mistake is yours. I was anointed caretaker of this flight by Neltherian himself. So let me be clear. When all is said and done, I will be the aspect of the Black Dragon flight. Is that so? Hmm. May the worthiest dragon win. Hmm. I was expecting Malagos. Where is he? And who are you? Malagos. And you... you cannot possibly be... Sindragosa? In a way... A simulacrum. Created by her in order to preserve her memories and knowledge. It would seem a great deal of time has passed since she left. Yes. And... much has happened. I sense... an aspect. It's a long story. Both you and Malagos are gone. I see. And the rest of our flight? Where are they? Tell me. After Neltherian betrayed us, we were on the verge of extinction. We few who remain are scattered, aimless, and alone. Yet you came here. That tells me that you still have hope for our kin. Child of my flight. Shall we work together to make that hope a reality? <sighs> Nothing would give me more pleasure. What must we do? into the present, which blurs into the past. Soon, it will merge into one, and that is when I will become my darkest self, Murazond. And when that day comes to pass, I look to you to do what must be done. Yes, Timeless One. I will do exactly what you need me to. I will find another way. There is none. Time encompasses all possibilities. You taught me that. I will search every timeline, every moment, until I find a solution to save you. <sighs> Kronormu, in all timelines, please know, I am and always have been. Proud of you. It is done. We stopped her. No, the damage is too great. They're about to. What have they done to you? Her death demands vengeance. All who betrayed Dragonkind to the Titans will face our wrath. Kadkar, we cannot win this fight. 
We have to get out of here! My friends, we sensed a great upheaval beneath the earth and feared the worst. We barely survived. Razageth is dead, but... Her kin have been freed. Oh. Nazdorma? What is it? The timeways. They are chaotic, but still obscured. A dark future looms on the horizon. We haven't long to prepare for their onslaught. Razageth's reckless haste cost her life, and they will not make that mistake again. They will regain their strength and choose their next moment carefully. Then we must take the fight to them. Strike before they are recovered. That will be difficult. Eridacron's mastery of the Earth will harbor them and keep them out of our reach. What is it about this Eridacron that vexes you so? Of the three that remain, Viranath and Farak were ever loyal to the Incarnate's ideals. But it was Eridacron who truly embraced the war. The last captured, and the most difficult to contain. At the end, he struck terrible bargains to keep their cause alive. His violent desperation makes him dangerous. I believe the other incarnates never knew the true depths of his depravity. We must not despair. Their war is coming. And while we may not yet have our spectral powers, we can rebuild our unity. Heal the wounded flights. Embrace our allies. Only together do we stand any chance of victory. <laughs> Together. Together. This seed is everything. So many beloved souls entrusting their fate their hopes to us. Are we certain it will be safe? Come. Here, by Elune's grace, this gift will be kept hidden from those who would wish it harm. Yet the time will come when it must leave the cradle of the dream and take its place in our world. And when it does, its protection will fall to us. My beloved Kaldorai, all you have suffered, all you have given, will not be in vain. This I swear to you. What is it, my love? Just a feeling that this time will be different. Isera, your flight needs you. We need you. Whatever the price may be for your return to Azeroth, name it. Tyrande. Tell us. It's me. I must be the one to stay. What? Isera knows this, though she would never ask it of me. No. We will find another way. 
When she gave her life for mine in Balshara, it was not her time. And now, the balance may be restored. Then, then I will stay as well. Chandras and the others can... Tiranda, should everything we hope come to pass, the Kaldorai will need you. I am so tired, Malfurion. Do not ask this of me. After everything we have endured. My love, you have always been the strength of our people. They will follow you ever onward, and you will never be alone. <sighs> Until I see you again. I will dream of the night we may truly rest together. again. The last echoes of her storm are fading. She is truly gone. We should be devouring her murderer's hearts. Do not underestimate them, Farrakh. Our sister's overconfidence was her downfall. While the Aspect's power has waned, their forces grow stronger. And we must even the scales. They get so many secrets from us and even from each other. Laboratory. One last secret, deep 
within the earth. The location of Avarus must lie within this vessel. I will decipher its knowledge. <laughs> what use are Navarian's twisted experiments to us? The laboratory itself is of no consequence. But the molten fire that powers it, that we can use. Keep eyes on them, Desrin. Whatever remains of Neltharion's legacy belongs to us. Trespassing Shakar territory. Explain what you are doing here. Uh, can we get on with it? You said we'd find it here. We have. From what I have transcribed, Naltharion had a hidden path to Avarus, just below this ridge. Sealed beneath earth and water, undisturbed for thousands of years. Then let us open the way. The Drakthe will succumb to the temptation of Avarus and unleash the Aspect's darkest nightmares. Come. We have much to do. Let the children of Neltharion claim their birthright. Soldier father, did I not uphold your legacy? Was it all just an illusion? Empty promises leading us only to oblivion. <sighs> May his name be ever remembered. After what he has done, why treat him with such respect? He was Drakthir, and his memory will be a lesson. Instead of helping our people heal, he led many to despair and ruin, chasing the illusion of Neltharion's power. If only Sakharath had taken Deathwing's tragedy to heart, 
and understood that his legacy was poisoned long ago. It is time for the Drakthir to make our own path. Where do you hope it will lead? Far from the shadows of the past that have haunted us, and free to build a legacy of our own. To a future you inspired me to believe in, Abyssian. Even the most painful moments have something to teach us. Notharian was my teacher, my father, and my commander. I aspired to lead the flight as he would have, unable or perhaps unwilling to acknowledge the true malignancy of his vision. I never knew Notharian. Only Deathwing, invading my nightmares, reveling in the certainty that I would become as twisted as he was. That is not who you are, my brother. <laughs> I thought my destiny was to guide our flight to its future. And I shall, but simply as myself, not as an aspect. Nor shall I seek that mantle. It would seem your days of hiding are over for good. I am humbled. May your trust and faith in me guide my every step. For today, we emerge from all the shadows that sought to sow doubt and shame within us. The Black Dragonflight's legacy is ours to create. Through great heroism and resilience, the threat of Avarice has been quelled. The Incarnate sought to use our fallen brother's memory as a weapon to divide us, turn us against each other, and weaken our resolve. They failed. Confronting these shadows has only made us stronger. Look upon us now. For the first time in an age, Five aspects will take up our ancient charge once more and stand beside the mortal champions who have aided us at every turn. For soon, Azeroth will welcome from the dream a symbol of hope. And together, we shall protect it. Malagos? Is it truly you? My treasure! What happened? I believe I hold the answer to that. Oh, I see. My dear, dear Caligos, aspect of the blue dragonflight. I remember you. I am so sorry, Caligos. My burden should not be yours to bear. You did not leave a burden. You left a brilliant legacy. One I and our flight will carry onward. It seems they are in good hands. Together. Always. You have come so far, my child. My work is done, for now. Thank you, Caligos. Lead them well.
thank you, my lady, for everything. Grandfather? Ah, no tears, my dear. A life as full as mine should be celebrated, not mourned. It is up to you to lead the Azure Wing now. You cannot go. I am not ready. <laughs> we rarely are. My dear Starlight, carry my lessons close to your heart, and I will never be far from you. My friend, do the clouds still accost your mind? Something much more terrifying. A moment of clarity. I have lived a million lives and witnessed their endless unfolding threats. Was it a vision? A memory or a dream? Is there any difference? Nazdormo, what did you see? My hour grows late. Those who broke their oaths to the timeways, the infinites, have struck a bargain. I do not know what Iridicron has promised them, and yet we have defeated each of them before. Yes, but together, the infinite horizon is all but inevitable. And once I become what they desperately want me to be, the darkest version of myself, the future will be lost. And so will I. I am not giving up on you, my friend. We are not giving up on you. Ha! Figured it out, did you? A little too late. You're working with the infinite? <gasps> What a terrible chromie! It's Morty, you brat! And yes, the time has come to bring about Murazon! Wanna stop me? Catch me if you can!
never questioned why the Titans preserve this timeline. The Titans safeguard our world from monsters like you! Your faith means nothing to them. As you burn in the flames of my brother's wrath, they will not come. All they wanted was our world. With this, the Harbinger will pry it from their grasp. And when the Titans come to reclaim their prize, I will be waiting. After you forced us into slumber in that titan prison, you came to me. You heard me? Every word. You said it doesn't feel like a victory. Not without you. How could you say that? After everything, you were my dearest friend. And losing you to this conflict broke my heart. You promised me you would not force the Titan's will upon us. But the eggs, Alex Straza. You did nothing while your masters warped our children, still in the shell. That abhorrent act should never have happened. And I regret my part in it every day. Your lies have grown sweeter. Honey to hear. And poison to taste. Viranoth, you have always fought for the good of dragonkind. But Eridacron does not. Vengeance is all he craves. Still so naive. Alexstrasza, believing that the world we once shared still exists, it is gone. And so, yes, all that remains is vengeance. Thank you, champion. Without you and Kronormu's bravery, I could not imagine what would have... No Stormo? <gasps> no Stormo! <sighs> Everything's back how it was. Not everything. The clouds in my vision have parted, and I can breathe without doubt or despair. I feel alive again. Thanks to you. But what of Eridacron? While we stopped the Infinites, Eridacron escaped through a kind of void tear, taking Galacron's essence with him. A void gate? His dark dealings have come to fruition. It feels like he's leaving this war to his kin. His hatred for the Titans is all he cares about. Nuzdormu. Can you perceive where he has gone? He has passed beyond my sight. All I see now are burning embers encroaching upon... Marithra must be warned. If Farrakh leads their forces now, he will be vicious and strike where we are most vulnerable. The World Tree. Yes. As dangerous as he is. For now, we must leave Eridacron to his schemes and steal ourselves for whatever Farak and Viranoth are preparing to unleash. The defense of Amirdrasil comes first. No matter what lies ahead, you were right, Pranormu. The future is worth fighting for. Green dragon. All 
alone. I was hunting the aspect of your kind. Your dear mother. But you will have to do. What? What do you want? Uh, I know what your flight is hiding. Uh, a fledgling world tree. Locked away in your emerald dream. And you are going to take me there. I will never betray my kin. Let me be clear. I will kill every dragon who stands between me and the power in that great tree's heart. You can save them. Just let me in. Calm yourself, brother. We are meant to break the Titan's iron grip on this world, not steal their children's future as they did ours. I was just offering this whelp a chance to serve our cause and spare his people a gruesome yet delightful massacre. <laughs> For rock. <laughs> For rock. Brother, remember what we are fighting for. So be it. I'll find another way into their precious dream. And then the power that grows within will be ours. Thank you. into the heart of their precious world tree. Eridicron entrusted us to deny the aspects their prize, not twist it into some vile abomination. Eridicron isn't here anymore. Besides, he is the one who set me free, who begged me to drink deep of the Shadow Flame. He knew what was necessary to win this war. We took up arms together to free the world from the Titans meddling. That is the war I fight. That is the victory I seek. We cannot achieve victory with our hands bound by your ideals! Indeed. Then our course is set. I will speak with your Dragon Queen. Then speak. No doubt you are aware of what my brother is after. Every gateway to the Emerald Dream has been secured and is well defended. It is not a gate he seeks. With the Druids of the Flame at his side, Farak will tear his way into that realm and march his forces upon the World Tree. His forces? They will fail. This World Tree will not be burned. Burn it? 
He comes to claim it. To twist its pure heart into a mirror of what his own has become. Cruel, blazing with insatiable malice, and wreathed in shadow. I cannot stand with him. He is my brother no more. Fear enough. Do what you will with this knowledge. Farewell, Alex Straza. Stand with us. <sighs> Why would I do that? Because you are a protector of this world. And you do not want to see it burn. <sighs> Please, hear me now. I failed you before. I failed our people. Yes. You did. I will not fail them again. Stand with us, Viranoth. For all dragonkind.